Good morning everyone. Some beautiful photos coming in of the leaves changing colors across the valley. Some great shots. This was one that was sent in using our reported function from Bob Dillion from the Sullivan Lake and Park area this past weekend. You can see the leaves changing from green to yellow and that is just the trend. I am noticing more and more trees changing colors as we inch our way through the fall season. Only going to see that more widespread. Of course, you can send us your photos using our report function at WTHITV.com. I would love to see them. You might even see your photo on the news. Outside this morning, we are looking at some light rain showers passing by with some added cloud cover. Nothing that's too widespread. Perhaps a sprinkle here or there near the Martinsville area down into northern portions of Monroe County. Same deal into portions of Greene County. Just a spotty shower just to the east of Bloomfield and across eastern portions of Greene County. This rain is going to be contained to the morning hours as a weak system does press through. So while we're not looking at widespread showers out there, certainly going to have more cloud cover around during the first part of the day and eventually improving conditions this afternoon. A pretty overcast sky here in Terre Haute this morning as temperatures have fallen back to near 50. Winds are out of the south southwest at 8 miles per hour. Your humidity at 80. 3%. We have the system that's setting up to our northwest. It's a cold front. It doesn't have a lot of moisture associated with it, but it is get, getting in on the additional cloud cover this morning. Perhaps a few stray showers as well, but you see up to our northwest some clearing skies. That is going to be the trend as we look ahead at the second half of the day. And then for the rest of the week, a little bit cooler air will pool in on the backside of that frontal system. You can see the directions of the, the direction of the wind that is coming in out of the southwest still in Terre Haute back to the Springfield, Illinois area. But more of a westerly wind in central Missouri and a northerly wind in Iowa. It's the cooler air that will start to move in from the north. And that's why we're looking at cooler temperatures for our Tuesday and Wednesday below average air will move in for the middle part of the week. As far as the rain goes outside this morning, again, we'll keep a chance of a spotty shower or two around near Greene County, mainly contained into our Indiana counties during the morning. This is at 9 a.m. Eventually, that shower activity will exit to our east. We'll deal with some lingering cloud cover through about midday, and then skies start to clear out for us. We'll get in on a little sunshine for the second half of our Monday and improve those conditions for the rest of the day. So as we break down your forecast, this is your day planner this morning. Again, a chance of some light showers, certainly worthy of grabbing the jackets, the umbrella during the first part of the day. Becoming mostly cloudy at noon. Temperatures rebounding to 57, partly cloudy 66 by 5 o'clock. That'll also be our daytime high. Through the evening tonight, we'll keep a partly cloudy sky around. Temperatures fall back into the 40s through the overnight, so a cooler start to the day on Tuesday. And then we look to stay rain free. High pressure will take control for Tuesday into Wednesday, actually going to put us into a stretch of some drier weather. Temperatures, though, again, as the wind shifts out of the north, it is going to be cooler. Wednesday or Tuesday daytime highs in the 50s. Same deal, upper 50s for daytime highs again on Wednesday. So while these skies do stay mainly clear, plenty of sunshine filters in. It'll be just a little bit cooler below average temperatures Tuesday into Wednesday, and then a gradual warming trend as we inch closer to next weekend. So for today, a chance of showers before midday, then becoming partly cloudy for the rest of the afternoon as temperatures rebound to 66. Through the overnight tonight, partly cloudy skies turning cooler, a low back near 44, and then it doesn't warm up too much tomorrow. For, uh, 56 seven rather for that daytime high partly cloudy skies for Tuesday, but into Wednesday. That's when you'll notice those skies become sunny, not a cloud in the sky expected, and it is going to warm up beyond there. 61 on Thursday up to 64 on Friday, but check out next weekend. I'm certainly looking forward to this with mostly sunny skies both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures above average a bit, topping out near 70 Saturday and 68 next Sunday.